In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the shimmer effect within X lights. And if we look here, we can see the icon for shimmer. And if I bring that into play, you can see that I'm getting like a strobing effect. Okay, I'll turn the cycle count just something low at the moment. And so I can explain the color options within shimmer. So you can see I can select multiple colors on the palette and the effect will transition through those colors. There's also the option to choose a color curve. So if I select that, you can see we can do left to right gradient, top to bottom, right to left, bottom to top, and we can do a color that transitions over time, over the length of the timeline. We can actually use the gradients and color curves with static colors as well. So if I go here, as it goes through, you can see I get the gradient and the other colors. So let's go and actually look at the effects. So within here, the duty factor is the amount of time that the color is on screen. So if you can see here, it goes black and then a color, black and then the next color. If we increase this, there's literally no transition. It just jumps from color to color. The next one is the cycle count. So that's the number of times you want it to transition over the length of this period in the timeline. So if we go like this, you can see it gets faster. However, if we expand this on the timeline, it gets slower again because this cycle count is over this timeline period. There's also an option to use all colors and we get this type of wacky effect with also a strobe. And then there's an option to use a legacy mode, which is the, the way it used to be doing it on an earlier version of X lights. So that's it for this effect. So until next time, see you later.